back to Happy and Healthy. I'm your host, Janine Amapola, and happy freaking Tuesday, you guys. I am so excited for today's episode because we have a special, special, special guest, Miss Jessie Ashvin. Hi. Afshin. Afshin? Af- it's okay. okay well, I didn't know how to she, say her last name. <laughs> she didn't pronounce mine right either, so we're even. Some friends we are. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> we're, we're, we're even now. Yeah, we Wait, are. Ash, Ash, Afshin. Afshin. I thought it was I, oh, this whole time. I, know, I thought it was Ashvin. I know everyone does. Wow, I stink. It's okay. I thought you were something else. Amopola. <laughs> <laughs> everyone calls me Amopola. Um, we're like, this is our close friend. We don't. What's your name? <laughs> yeah, who are you again? Why are you in my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh well thanks for having me yes you guys I'm so happy and healthy yes we're trying to be happy and healthy today mm-hmm. but y'all i want to just introduce her a little bit tell Aww. them about yourself my name is jesse and i'm from austin janine and i met at ut uh-huh. where i started my fashion blog about gosh seven years ago eight years yeah. ago and after that i just felt the lord calling me into ministry and so i now write a blog called my darling diary and it's just Jesus encouragement. I created a shop called Shop Darling. She has the cutest, cutest stuff, y'all. Cutest cozy. Go check it we out. We have a launch on Friday, so. Ooh, y'all. Well, this podcast is going yeah. up tomorrow. Okay, so y'all perfect. can shop on Friday, on Friday and get her merch. Her stuff is so cute, I'm telling oh, you. Thank you. But yeah, we go way back. And way so back. we both have the commonality of like social media and also kind of changing our content from, I wouldn't say worldly stuff, maybe more a little bit more materialistic yeah. to more ministry stuff. So from mi- materialism to ministry. I was completely <laughs> in fashion blogging, consumerism, yeah. products, things like that. And then I was like, this doesn't fulfill my soul. So mm. Yeah, I just did a podcast episode about that. <coughs> Y'all go check out her stuff. She has a whole podcast on that and everything. Yeah, I launched a podcast um, to talk about it because I was yes. like, you know what? My heart just isn't communicated through communicated well through instagram mm-hmm. so that's why i love podcasting so yeah. go check out her stuff the links are always down below in the description of this video as well as in the description of the podcast so if you guys don't know i do post these videos on youtube so you guys can see our faces Yay. and so make sure you subscribe to that but y'all for today's episode i'm freaking so stoked we're talking about dating horror, horror stories. stories i can't wait it's going to be my dating horror stories, hers, and then also y'all stories that you submitted on Instagram. Cringy. Cringy horror. Like, I was scrolling through them and already dying laughing. Like, so also, by the way, we filmed two parts to this. So one part's going to be on hers. Yeah. One part's on mine. So make sure you go check out her podcast. When do you think your, yours will be up? Mine will be up next Wednesday. So that's okay. in May. Okay. So yeah. So this. The week yeah. after this. Okay, so stay tuned for that because so part two is, part is on one. there. And honestly, we were dying yeah. laughing. So go check it yeah, out. Yeah, they're both good and they're different stories. Yes. So we're going to just kind of share ours and just get right into it. And then we'll start scrolling on Instagram. So do you have one you want to kick us off with? Um, Let's see. So my crazier ones were on my podcast. But hold on. Let me think about this. Yeah, I got to go check my list. I had one cringy one is I had a guy show up a coffee at the coffee shop I worked at. Like, literally every week until I talk to him. Oh. That's creepy. That's just weird. I know. That's okay, so that's just weird. Yeah, you that's just creepy. coffee shop every day. Until I talk to him. Wow. I don't like that. Yeah. And Yo, people who would that? work with me at the coffee shop still bring it up. They're like, remember that one time? <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to forget. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, Janine's still single. I am. I'm dating someone very seriously. She has an amazing boyfriend, y'all. There oh, is hope. I'm so telling you. There is hope. There is so and much I'm hope. And I'm 28. I waited it I dated and I waited it through. Dated and waited. So oh, if you're single. I'm just <laughs> that's the name of her new book. It would be a terrible <laughs> sweatshirt. <laughs> Who would buy that? <laughs> your other one was like, can't fake your fruit. <laughs> can't fake sweatshirt your fruit or your you bank. would never want. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> That should be like a new Instagram account we made. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so good. funny. We're gonna okay, talk well to you to make that. Teaser but no one, don't steal that handle. <laughs> don't steal that handle. We're about to make it. Sweatshirts you'll never want or hmm, buy. Exactly. But so I've dated for a long time. Had so many awful dating experiences, and Jean's still single. Yeah, I'm still, still going out through there it. hustling. <laughs> so I hope that this like encourages anyone who's single. Yeah. Because it's just good to laugh. It is. You it know? really is. And again, so. We're not going to use any names because we want to respect people yeah, and honor them. some of them might be listening. I don't know. Hello, if you're listening. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, happy and healthy. <laughs> They'd be so awkward, but I'm they probably sorry are. in advance. 
<laughs> we just won't drop any names. But anyway, I... But we talked about this in my podcast. Yeah. Like, if you're going to date a content creator, <laughs> you just gotta expect know. that your story is going <laughs> to yeah. show up in my content. No, for real. Like, and I try to still be respectful, but sometimes I'm like, I just got to share these. Oh, I had a really cringy one that I just remembered. Let's hear it, girl. Okay. I'm trying to remember the exact timeline. So... This was the, I think this was the reason why I decided I will never use dating apps ever again. Yeah. So this was my last attempt at a dating app in California. Um, this guy, he seemed super normal, super cute on Hinge. And he was like, hey, I'd love to pick you up. But he didn't want to take me out on like an actual date. It was like super late. He was like, how about I just pick you up? We go sit by the ocean. We eat candy and like we get drinks. Oh, that's kind of And cute. I was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, that sounds kind of fun. Candy like, sure. Beach? It uh-huh. was more like chill. And so I was like, okay, let's do it. But, like, right when he picked me up, he was so nervous. He was oh no. fidgeting, literally dropped this the same item four times in a row. <laughs> I was like, are you good? And you good, bro? He made fun of my shoes, which I did not appreciate. Oh he no. was like, what are those? And I was like, Fabletics? <laughs> Swipe up. No, <laughs> but I was, like, offended. I was I like, you know, poke, poke at my shoes when no. you just met me. And then, like, he would sit in the car. Like, we were sitting in the car, sitting there scrolling through his Snapchat. Like, just opening and closing his apps. Opening and closing. Oh, I hate that. I was like, what are you doing? And like, that is an anxious tendency. Yeah. To just but, scroll. But also, I'm like, you picked me up. You asked me to hang out. Why are you sitting here scrolling on Snapchat? And then, like, I don't know. He just kept asking me about my ex-boyfriend a little way too much. Where I was like, this is weird. I don't know. It was just super cringy. I did. I actually, I feel bad, but I immediately blocked him. Because I didn't even want him reaching back out. I was like, I will never see this person again. There was definitely some more things he did where I was just like, that was so Something cringy. Something's not right. Oh, yeah. He was like, hey, let me follow you on Spotify. And I was like, okay. So I give him my Spotify. And he saw that I think I had like 5,000 followers on Spotify. He was like, oh, my God, bro. You're famous. You're famous, bro. aren't you? Yeah, he was like, he was so, like super bro He was like, you're famous, aren't you? And he's like, let me guess. Like, you have thousands of followers on Instagram. He starts trying to guess how many followers I had. And Wait, I was like. did he not know? He, no, I didn't tell him. I never told people. Oh. I never. But what about Instagram? No, he, he didn't follow me on Instagram. Oh, wow. I also used a different like name on Instagram so he can't look me up. Okay. Because I don't want people finding me on there and being like, oh, she's Okay, so this is a dating app. Oh yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. It was just weird. So that was kind of my cringy story. And I just was like, I don't want to see this guy ever again. No. I like called my friend afterwards. Not. I went on it and I was like, that was literally horrible. No, that's awful. <laughs> Why yeah. was he so nervous? I don't know. And he wouldn't look me in the eyes. And he just was very nervous. And like he was like, so he, oh, he said this four times to me. You're really moving, huh? Wait, what? So you're really moving because I was moving back to Texas. And he literally four times. So, like, every time there was, like, an awkward silence pause, he'd be like, so you're really moving, huh? And I was like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep, I am. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so that was just, oh that was my last gosh. attempt at a dating app where I was like, never again. No. No. And I told you my story about my dating app experience one time. Yeah, on make sure you podcast. check out her podcast. It's funny. <laughs> it's just, and we talked about this, it's. It's kind of those stories where you see one thing on the internet and then you get another thing in real life, right? Yeah, Instagram versus reality. Mm -mm. I had one of my friends send me a voice memo of a dating horror story. I think it's like one of his friends submitted it or it's something that happened to him. I'm going to play this for y'all and we're going to get our reaction. All right, Janine Amapola. Amapola. Dayton stories for you. Dayton. One Dayton. of them is mine, and the other belongs to someone else. The one that I had, I had met this girl at the gym of all places, and she had came up to me at the gym and introduced herself, and she had actually asked me out on a date, which I was like, all right, that, that's like pretty cool. I respect Confident. that game. Um, I've done that. And then we I'm went on the first too. date. And totally fine, totally normal. It was like, okay, yeah, this is kind of cool. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we weren't, like, following each other on, on Instagram at that point. It was, we just had each other's, like, numbers. Like, it was like, a, not, oh, hey, let me get your, your handle. It was like, yo, what's your number? Like, it was back in the day or something like that. None of that Gen Z stuff. Back in the uh, day. Anyway, <laughs> we, uh, Gen Z. we go out on the second date, and we meet up at, like, this bar, like, this speakeasy okay. bar. And <laughs> and she beats me there. I'm like a minute late or so. And um, when I get there, you know, she's already there, and she doesn't look like I'd say particularly happy to see me. Uh oh. And 
I ask her, I go, hey, what's going on? And she pulls out her phone, and she pulls up a picture of me and Jess Mo, who you know, and who, <laughs> and I've known for like 12 years. Oh, at this no. Point, like little sister. But the photo that she pulled up was from like three or four years prior. So it's like, like the photo at the time was years old. Oh, my God. And she goes, who's this? Not a, oh, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. It's, who's this? I go, that's like my best friend. Um, what? And she goes, I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird that you're friends with other girls. Oh, my gosh. And, like, Remember, this is date number two. I I wasn't no. even there for like all of three minutes, and I stood up and I walked out oh. and I left, and she just kept blowing me up, <gasps> and I was like, "Hey, hey, this isn't gonna work." Like that was that was crazy. That was weird. Whoa. Um, but yeah, so that was a weird one, and I'll send you a second one. Okay, we don't have time to listen to the second one. But, oh, my gosh. Okay, so obviously she went back three to four years. She was scrolling, y'all. I mean, and that's, I mean, I don't know. I know girls stalk and we yeah. know everything. But at the same time, what? You don't have the right to go and say that. Even if he had his, four years But even ago? if he had his ex-girlfriends on there, you still don't have the right. Well, she has problems. That, that's, that must be, like, insecurities or, yeah. like. Dang, that no. is crazy. What would you do if a guy did that to you? Like on the second date? Actually, that kind of reminds me of a story. I was dating a guy, and every time he pulled up his Instagram, my two accounts were the very first top search all the time. Like over two months. It's like every time his Instagram was up, it was on my profile. At the time, I wasn't posting on that profile. And I was like, why are you stalking me what in a profile? Heck? I'm like, how many times do you have to look at it? That's so weird. That's so weird. But gosh, social media like ruins dating. It's really it does. really That's does. That's what we talked about. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, four years ago, that's just. That's weird. And to go in there being like, like thinking honey, you're entitled you need, you to tell therapy. him what to do. That's weird. Because marriage is give and take. Mm -hmm. Like that ain't going to be fun with you. No. It's just a <laughs> Good on my you friend for counseling. leaving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you to my friend for sharing. But I love that we got a guy's perspective. I know. That. That yeah, was, that was that fun. Was good, I should do more of those. Crazy, yeah, girls can be. <laughs> Why are we like that? <laughs> Why are we like that? <laughs> Why are we the way we are? <laughs> okay, you got any more horror stories? Honestly, I can't really think of that many bad ones. There was one guy who was like trying to decide between me and another girl for so long. And That's um, never a good feeling. No, and I was just like, uh, this isn't like this isn't like how dating goes no so y'all we're not a second option you're not second best yeah. like you deserve to be chosen and be to be first yeah and there's so much like kind david always says my boyfriend now says kindness is clarity clarity yes. is kindness and so yeah there's no clarity in that and i feel like there's some it almost reminded me of the bachelor in the sense that Ugh. Don't it you was love like the bachelor you know like them like they're deciding which one to like yeah. keep going with and you're like this is not a game yeah. show this is real life it's real love i think in the beginning like i did talk about this in my podcast like ideally it'd be nice to pursue one person at a time but i don't think it's wrong to go either. on like a date with two people in the same week because like it, it's same. the it's the first date like yeah, that's you're fine to know people. but when it starts getting serious then you're just playing games at that point yeah and also to be like saying like well i'm dating somebody else but like let me think about it yeah and i'm like what to me that just means you don't like the person enough yeah or you don't know them or, or you don't know them yeah. or you're just confused yourself and i don't know it's just not a fun feeling right but I'm trying to think of what else their their stories. But that are. one's so sucky. Yeah, I think the other one. I had one story where. Oh, I remember. I told a guy, I want to go to like this this like church night or something, and he was like, "That's okay with me." And I was like, "Did I ask you permission?" <laughs> it was like that's weird. It was so weird, and I feel like people say you start to see that controlling yeah. behavior early on. I'm like red flag. Yeah, run away. It was it literally. was like a big like n huge like no. And you're is, like I didn't ask and you. I, I said I am going. It, when <laughs> I I think it was on the phone. And I after I hung up, I was like I 
I did like you are not my dad, mm. you know. And, and that's they were like, like a church you, thing. You immediately like your spirit immediately knows you're like no, yes, it's that's discernment. not it. Yeah, uh-huh. that's not, and that's not the worst of my stories. But it's also like those are just moments where you're like, mm, mm-hmm. no, yep. yeah, yep. okay, tell us some of yours. Okay, I have a little bit of a longer one. I'm gonna try to shorten this yeah, somehow, but I pretty much had. I could make this into a whole nother podcast. I, this, I honestly have so many stories. It's That's ridiculous. It. It, I've guys. had a stalker. I'm not even kidding. Oh, I've no. had horror stories with that. But the one that I want to tell y'all about is this guy four years ago in California. I was in Hermosa Beach okay. for Fourth of July. And this was like pre-COVID days. Like everyone's crammed in this one house. There's like little day parties, whatever. So it's Fourth of July. And I walked into this 4th of July little party and this guy was sitting across the room. His friend comes up to me. So I guess he didn't really have like the guts to come up to me himself. Oh. And he, she was like, Hey, my like friend thinks you're cute. Like he'd love to get to know you. And I was like, well then where is he? I'm like, come, come forward, show yourself, <laughs> reveal your face. So he comes forward, whatever. And we end up like hanging out and spending like majority of the day together. But like, he was really quiet, yeah. kind of timid, was a nice guy. Okay. And so I thought he lived in LA, but turns out he lived in San Francisco. So I find that out later at, in the day that he lives in San Francisco. He was with some people that day. He had ditched them. And I was like, Hey, where are your friends? Like you can go hang out with your friends because he was like glued to my hip the whole day. And I was like, you can go hang out with your friends. And he was like, no, no, no. no. Like, he's friends. like, it's fine. It's fine. Like I'll just, you know, spend the day with you. But I was like, where are your friends? Like I was confused. So he was just like really attached to me and it started making me feel a little bit weird. So anyway, at the end of the day, he was like, Hey, I have to catch a flight back to San Francisco in the morning. I'd love to come back down to LA at some point and see you. And I was just kind of left it open ended. I was like, yeah, sure. Like I wasn't like, Like maybe. Yeah, exactly. I was not like obsessed with this guy or anything. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like if you're ever in town, let me know. Like it was that type of thing. Yeah. And so turns out he's like, hey, I, I booked a flight to L.A. again and um, I'm, I'm coming back down. I was under the impression he was coming back down to stay with his friends and to see his friends. Then later I find out that he was not even friends with those people. And secondly, he booked a flight <gasps> specifically to see me. Oh and thirdly, he had asked to stay at my house. He was like, is it cool if I stay with you? And I was like, um absolutely not like no way and i was like i am not comfortable with that Denise. so he books a hotel literally five minutes away from my house i've never shared the story i can't believe i'm sharing it juicy books a hotel right by my house so i'm like uh so he doesn't have friends here he booked this trip for me do i have to spend the whole weekend with this person so i kind of did and i had to like show him around la i was the one driving and i was miserable yeah. like i wish i just would have like you know, taking up the courage just to be like, look, this is not what it is. Like, yeah. not what you want. I'm not interested. So anyway, we basically hang out the whole weekend. By the end of the weekend, I was exhausted. And I was like, that he is not my person. No. So after he had left, I told him, I said, hey, you're so sweet. Like, thank you for buying me dinner, all this stuff. I was like, I'm just not interested. And I don't see this moving forward. And he just like literally would not take no for an answer. So then like next thing I know, um, because he had like gotten my address to find out like, like I think he had picked me up in an Uber or something. So he had gotten my address from that. And so oh, no. he starts mailing me things like oh, continually. No. So if y'all don't know, I'm half German, half Guatemalan. I get like this random German keychain in the mail. And I was like, what is this? And it, he sent me that because he was trying to find ways to like be like, look, I'm intentional. I'm, I care. No. So sends me this German keychain, And I was like, this is weird. And so I sent him again. Actually, I didn't I didn't even like text him. He was like, hey, did you get my package? And I was like, yeah, but why are you sending me things? So I had to remind him again. I wasn't interested. Thank you for the package. But he still didn't get the hint. A week later, again, I get a necklace in the mail, a Guatemala necklace, a four hundred dollar necklace. I looked up the price from this business. It was a four hundred dollar necklace from Guatemala and sent it to me again. I was like, does do you not? get the hint i know it's bad so i had to just block him from everything because i was like this guy is weirding me out you're not understanding i was straight up again with him i'm like i don't think you're understanding like i'm not interested also in your podcast you had said that one of the girls in like her horror stories and and from your dms the guy posted a picture of them on like their first date he posted two pictures of us oh and started using hashtags like abide and i was like this (gasps) is so weird yes 
So it still kind of gets Big worse. Fan. Yeah. Okay. So he had like pictures of me on his Instagram, which I was very uncomfortable with because I was like, I don't want like I was like, is this guy just posting because of like who I am? Yeah. Like it just made me feel super uncomfortable. So then, I mean, like I said, I blocked him on everything because I had told him no like t- two or three times at this point. He was not understanding. And then I get a letter in the mail again. And it's like, hey, uh, I saw you b- blocked me on everything. I'm not really sure why you did that. Like, I don't understand why. Like, I was like, how do you not understand why? So he sends me this full on letter like you're like, an amazing where is their girl. social skills? I don't know thing oh, and then no i wasn't <laughs> like, <laughs> i wasn't sad at all because i freaked out have you ever had this happen when like you block someone on your phone but for some reason the text messages go through to your computer i've never blocked anybody on my phone oh i have many many times <laughs> i've had to but yeah he said he i blocked him and so somehow the text message still went through to my computer and even oh, after no. even after he had sent me a letter and I had still blocked him on so everything. So your iMessage wasn't blocked then? Yeah, my iMessage. And he was like, this was months later, y'all. Hey, I'm in LA. I uh, wondered if you wanted to meet up and hang out. I'm like, you no literally. Is no, bud. Yeah, no means no. No means it no. It was so bad. Oh, that was my, man. probably one of my worst stories. That like is four years awful. ago. It was really weird. The, what's with the Guatemalan necklace? Like uh, because I, I don't I guess like I said I feel like he was trying to find ways to like show me that he cared and was like into my my heritage or something honestly I don't know are you Gu- Guatemalan yeah okay well that's cute yeah but if in it were a creepy in, way yeah, I'll say if he were actually someone I liked <laughs> it would have been cute cute <laughs> it's funny though because I actually gave my mom that necklace and she wears it to this day <laughs> There's a happy ending. It was a happy ending. I, I was like, Mom, <laughs> I got this Guatemala necklace for you. <laughs> she wears it still to this day. Okay, well, that's wonderful news. It is. But, I mean, I silver lining. I appreciate the thought and the effort, but. No, I mean. It was just too much. It's, it's crossing a boundary. It is. And it's not respecting my no. Yeah, you're. he's dishonoring you. Yep. He's not yeah. honoring your, like, boundary. No. That's very creepy. Yeah, that's probably one of my worst horror stories. That is really, really bad. Yeah. I also have one more, okay, but yeah, I could just, girl. I could pop off. Keep going. Well, okay. So Jess and I are talking about this on her podcast, but I get a lot of weird, weird DMs oh from guys, gosh. like super strange, like wanting feet pics or like sugar daddies. I do get a feet pic. Or armpits. I have like, a feet pic uh, DM guy. Really? Yeah. Wow. And he'll come back he in like pressing. every two or three years. <laughs> They're never consistent. The only thing consistent in my life is that man. <laughs> a long time follower the lord is the lord is our sustainer he's faithful and committed anyway (laughs) but that's crazy well and it's funny because people like block him but i'm like it's so funny yeah like i know it's probably (laughs) really creepy but like his messages give me a laugh i screenshot them and i like i show them to people i'm like look what look what dms i got today terrible i'm scared for any girls who listen late girls yeah y'all be careful Mm -mm. yeah but the Don't most recent one I on got internet. is yeah. I, I got this guy that literally made a full on music video application oh, right. to ask me out on a date, like a full music video, a full rapping. I thought it was honestly a joke at first. And then I realized he was serious. And the description of the video was like, I want nothing more in my life than to pursue you wholeheartedly. This is the mission that the Lord has sent me on. Like I it was crazy and i was kind of like chuckling i was like oh there's no way he's serious but then he like dm me again he's like did you get my music video did you read the description the description i put a lot of time into and then he was like i'll see you at church and when can i take you out and then he just started getting really weird we're like he started using like christian lingo christianese to try to like convince me that i should go on a date with him like the lord told me that you were the woman for me that i was supposed to pursue you and i was like you are weirding me out I don't like it when guys use the God told me thing. Mm-mm. It's like, no. I'm like, then why didn't God tell me that? <laughs> You're like, mm, I don't know if you yeah. really heard God or yourself. But, yeah. but so that was like a really, really weird one where I also, again, had to basically. So somebody made you a music video. Yeah. But then he just kept sending me voice memos like, I just oh want to pursue God. you. And I've been praying for a woman like you. And you've all like, it was just so weird. And again, it's like, and I told him, I was like, honestly, like, you don't even know me. Like you could you could hang out with me and be like this girl absolutely sucks I don't like you at all but I'm like I think you like the idea, idea. of me yeah because you don't really even know me well, to be we honest we talked about that on my podcast where people sometimes guys just have like an idea of someone because they watch your stories your, or the stories uh-huh. when your job is public yep 
And it's like, okay, wait, this is not a dating app. This is my job. Right. You don't know me. You don't know Janine. Like, nope. that's so creepy. It was so weird. You have some weird, creepy. I mean, I feel like YouTube does come with some weird, mm -hmm. creepy stories. I have a lot, y'all. Yeah. Like, a lot. Like, I literally can. I might have to make a part two of this on my own because yeah. there's so many. You should keep going. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of what other ones I have. Janine's DMs, so she gets crazy DMs. She posts them on her close friend's story, and I, I just die. <laughs> I screenshot them, and I'm like, <laughs> I post like super funny ones, like again, like the feet pick ones, or like sugar daddies, or like yes. like really weird Constant. ones. Like, let me see. There, it, it's like weekly for you. I did get one just recently that I got. This guy. Okay, so I think like a couple months ago, like I made a joke. I was like, "Who wants to help me move?" Like we jokingly, jokingly say that. Yeah. And this guy was like, I would help you, but I'm in Indiana. You probably don't care, though, because I may have come across as a creep. Please forgive me. Oh my God. Months later, he redms me. I hope you can understand. I didn't mean to come off the wrong way. I don't know if I'm being persistent as a turnoff or creepy, whatever. If you want the GQ model, that's fine. <gasps> but what if that what if that kind of guy will always be the wrong guy and you'll keep you being single? How is this real? I don't know. Like, y'all, these are the DMs like, I get. Have some confidence. Yeah, I know. Confidence in a guy is so great. Yeah, like just be assertive and confident. Yes. Because it sounds like he has some, but then he's like stewarding yeah. it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has enough confidence to DM you, but then he's like, but, 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 but yeah. I know that you, right. That I'm creeping you out. Yes. Oh. Okay. Y'all, I want to read some of the ones that I got from Instagram because oh, there's for some good ones on here. Okay. This is one from someone I actually know. And he said, LMAO, how about that one time my ex told me that I had to live with her parents for six months before we could get married. So he literally what? did move in with his, her family for six months. Her family? Yeah. Oh. And then the, the relationship Did didn't out? work out. No, well, no, wow. that <laughs> it didn't work sense. out. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. One. Someone else. Someone else I know said went on a hinge date. She was so nervous. She drank a lot and threw up halfway in. <gasps> that is bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. So people are nervous. That's what all these stories are. Okay, one of my friends said, oh, my gosh, I was getting uh, getting dumped on my way home from the airport after visiting my boyfriend at the time. And I was driving home. So she got dumped on after her visiting her boyfriend on her way home. Oh, poor thing. That's sad. That is sad. Okay. Uh, let me see. A guy asked me on a date and then left halfway to go fix his clothes. Wait, what? That's so weird. That is so my weird. date was pulled over for not yielding, went to jail for traffic <gasps> tickets. So awkward. <gasps> so what? awkward. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's really bad. That's okay. cringe. Uh, my date spat out a piece of salad on me on my very first date and just awkwardly laughed. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, like, what would you do? Would you just pick it off and be like, eh? <laughs> Like, yeah, how would you that's how I would that? do because I'm way too kind. What would you do? I would have been like, you would have been like, I probably talk about this. I probably would have been a little bit more straight up and like, oh, that's that's cute. Like I would have made a sarcastic yeah, comment, yeah, and then I would have picked it off and been like, hey, it happens. You're right. To like make him feel like it's fine, it's but also fine. I would have been cringing inside. Yeah, that's hard to move past unless you really get a good laugh out of it. Okay, this girl said a guy told me I have AIDS, JK, but I do <gasps> have a kid on the first date. <laughs> What? Why would how you say you that? How do you start out like that? I have AIDS. Like, that's not a funny joke. Oh, my gosh. It's almost like he's trying to make the kid not sound so bad by saying, I have AIDS. It's not that bad. Yeah, just kidding. It's just a yeah. kid. He was basically, like, trying to make the yes. worst case scenario and then, like, butter her up he's and then, like, no, it's not bring so her bad. down gently. I mean, yeah. a kid is way better than AIDS. True. True. But that's also, it's a big thing to drop well, on a first date. Yeah. Because then a you're, you're in a relationship with two people, you know, the, the person and their child. Okay, this next one is he, quote unquote, forgot his wallet, no. called me by the wrong name, and we had been texting for a month. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's texting other girls. Yeah, he's playing he's the field. He's talking to other girls. Girl. He is playing you. Okay, I was dating a guy who claimed to not have social media. I did some snooping and found his, found his what? Where's the rest of this message? <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh -oh. oh, did it get cut off? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there's another one here. I was in high school and had some guys over, and they all left except for one. He was texting me from his car telling me to come down and kiss him and that he wouldn't leave my house until I came down and kiss him. I didn't, no. so he sat in front of my house for 45 minutes begging for a kiss. It was so weird and awkward. 
Ugh, I hate that. Real. I don't. I, why do people do that? I don't know. It's like, do we not take enough classes in school and like? I think we need like social, social norms, skills. social yeah, skills, class. social norms. Okay. <laughs> Begging for a kiss. This one, someone said he asked to kiss my toe. <gasps> that is so eh. weird. That's like did a you gag. let him? That's a gag. I want to know. Did she let him? Yeah. Can you let us know? Girlfriend, can you report back? Please say no. I hope you didn't. You know what? I'm my so nice. I'd be like, mm-hmm. I honestly, this I wouldn't. I'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, I would never talk to that person again. That's so weird. On a first Do date, I, why do people have feet fetishes? I don't understand. I, don't, I genuinely, thing, but I don't know what it is. I cannot. I wonder what the psychology behind that is. I can I kiss your toe? Yeah, like what makes you have a foot fetish? I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. If if any of you guys have a foot fetish, let us know. Okay. Too. Uh, someone said first date. Botox, drool on table. She had no idea. I didn't have the heart to tell her. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> so she just just had gotten Botox. <gasps> I guess her face was numb, it was and like stuck. she couldn't control her because it like freezes your muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Ew, what I would, would you be do? like, oh. It's so awkward. It's like you look, but it's like you you don't want to look, but you have to. You look. can't unsee you can't, that. You can't look away. The, whole, the dinner's done. Okay, you I'm gonna read a couple more it. of these. Uh, he started rapping to show me his skills out of nowhere. I would I would be cringing. No. For sure. No. That's so funny because I feel like all of these are like things just like that are outside of social norm. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these have alcohol involved. That's what I'm reading. Oh. This girl said a well, frat boy took me to a mixer, made out with a different girl there. <gasps> he went home alone. I hope he did. Yeah. I hope Bye. he did. No. You college, do not deserve our attention. College is full of stuff like that. College, that's a whole different ballpark. Yeah. My stories from college are way. Way different. Way. Like post post Janine, post college Janine has different stories than in college Janine. Yeah. For me, I was, it was like pre-Jesus. So yeah, pre-Jesus very was rough, different. rough Janine. And sorority life, you know how it goes. Yep. Except I was in a Christian sorority, but I did not act. No, I was not that great, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. I- okay. I'm going to read the last one. Let me see. I'm trying to find a really good one. I need to be sticking out here. Oh, yeah, it's sticking out. Oh, my gosh. This guy used to stalk my house and drive by at night, then bang on the back door windows. No. Now that's creepy. That's horror. That's a horror dating story. Absolutely not. Oh, my that would, gosh. That's like, okay, that reminds me of like a horror movie. I freaking hate that. that I would call the cops. I, I would, would be my dad. so creeped out. Can like, oh, my gosh, no. Okay, the, ne- the list is the last one, y'all. <laughs> he moved into my apartment building after we broke up and asked for a second chance. That is also very stalkerish. What is that? That's so weird. Oh well, y'all have some bad God, ones. Yeah. I and I'm I mean, praying for y'all. I'm praying for all of us, y'all. It's rough <laughs> out these streets. Jessie's lucky. She's got herself a good man. Hey, but that took me five years in the wilderness. Yeah, well, I'm you in know? the wilderness right now. Hey, it's worth it to wait. Oh, you know, I've been going on dates. Yeah, you have There's been. some good guys. It's just trying to find the guy the that right you have one. the most peace with and, you know, basically what she has. Well, and a lot of it's timing. Yeah. Sometimes the season's timing just doesn't work for you or for him. And Tell me about you need, it. You need, the, you need God's timing on your life. Timing? You really do. I I'm hate 28. it. I hate that that's a thing, the timing. I know. I remember I broke up with my boyfriend of five years when I was 22, and someone gave me a prophetic word saying it's going to be a while. Oh, and I'm 28 and I just met the man I'm going to marry. Oh, and if yes, you she told is. me at 22, you're going to wait six years. I would have been really sad. I would have been really Hello, sad everyone's at staring 22. at us again. But hey, guys, <laughs> but at the same time, like I grew so much. I found my life. I yeah. found my identity and it's I a sweet stronger. season. And it's it was so fun. Yeah. So if you're in your singleness, you know, there's find hope. the contentness. Yeah, don't get down and enjoy it because you'll never get that time back. No, you won't, which is yeah. why Maddie and I, like, if y'all don't know, I'm, I have a thriving. roommate, Maddie. We have so much fun together because we're both, like, yeah. single, living our best lives, and we're like, let's enjoy this season as much as we can. Because, yeah. like, yeah, you're right. We won't get it back, and it's so fun, like, us being both single together. Yeah, you guys have, I mean, and I hope that if you are single, you can watch Janine. She can inspire you and encourage you, and I know she does. Thanks. But I hope so, too. It's nice to have influencers you follow, too, who – 
don't have a full family and a baby and a husband and everything. That yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, I can't, I can't relate to that at all. <laughs> like I'm like literally years away from that. I yeah. think. So, <laughs> so I feel like you're doing such a good job holding it down. Holding oh, it down. thanks, y'all. Us single ladies, I get you guys. I'm right there with you. But I, I mean, I am fully like I have full faith in the Lord that He's going to bring someone amazing. Yes. And all that stuff. So I don't. Not a stalker. Not a stalker <laughs> like I've had before. Or just oh. Oh. But anyways, thank you guys for sharing your horror yeah. stories. Those were some of mine. If you want to hear the rest, go check out Jesse's podcast because honestly, I think that one was 10 times funnier. That was a funny one. Like I was literally sweating because we were laughing so much. So <laughs> make sure you go check that out Listen, next week. Yes. Of course, check out Jesse's stuff as well. That's linked down below. Aww. And I will see you guys next Tuesday for another episode of Happy and Healthy. And peace out. Let's go. Bye, guys. <laughs>